Hello friends, welcome to Electronic Circuit Hub. So today we are going to understand about the flyback converter design and simulation in LT Spice. Okay, so it's very difficult to design and simulate a flyback converter in LT Spice because of we are using the mag transformer here or we are using the coupled inductor here. So we are going to understand step by step process how will you design the flyback topology flyback converter in your LT spice right so let us let us understand right so the specification for flyback converter design is input voltage is 230 volt and 50 hertz you see here the input voltage is 230 volt and 50 hertz and the output is 5 volt 1 amps that means we are going to design 5 watt power supply okay if i say 5 watt power supply that means it has 5 volt at output and 1 ampere 5 volt multiple equals to v into i if you multiply 5 volt into 1 amps it will become 5 watt okay so this is the this is the objective today this is this is the our our the design requirement and i'll i'll explain how will you design this flyback topology in your lt spice tool and i will also show you the different voltage and current waveforms i'll show you how your input looks like i'll show you what is the voltage at at drain to source of this mosfet and what is the output voltage and what is the output current and what is the output power okay so let us understand first how how will you design this circuit in lt spice how this circuit works this is very important to understand guys how this circuit works right so let me start with the input voltage so you see here i have connected v1 v1 says the voltage source and if you right click on v1 you can see the amplitude is 230 volt peak and the frequency is 50 hertz then as you know after the voltage source you i have connected here the four diode d1 d2 d3 and d4 this four diode works as a bridge rectifier so guys you already know how bridge rectifier works so i'm not going to explain you how this bridge rectifier works but that is how you connect your po positive positive terminal of v1 to d1 and your negative terminal of v1 to d4 like that then after the bridge rectifier since you know the output of this bridge rectifier is pulsating dc okay it's not a pure dc so in order to get the pure dc at output you need to connect one uh, raw dc capacitance or bulk capacitance this is also called sometimes bulk capacitance so the value for this bulk capacitance is 32 microfarad so i have i have taken usually 32 microfarad but you can also use like 10 to 15 microfarad that is more than enough 15 microfarad is more than enough then you see i have connected one l1 this here usually in the actual design we we use the transformer okay but in lt spice we are using coupled inductor so this coupled inductor works as a transformer right so this l1 is the coupled inductor and you see the polarity here the dot marks here this side okay and in order to simulate the behavior of leakage inductance okay how much the behavior of leakage inductance of l1 i have connected one more inductance that is that is uh, l2 this is basically a leakage inductance then you see one one mosfet stw double one nm80 so one mosfet and i am driving this mosfet with a pulse signal so if you go and see the pulse signal here so the rise time is 100 nano 100 nanosecond fall time is 100 nanosecond maybe you can reduce to 10 nanosecond right and the t on time is 500 nanosecond and the t period is how much t period is t period is 10 microsecond okay so so 
this 10 microsecond that means i am driving the driving the gate of this mosfet gate of this mosfet by using 100 kilohertz frequency 10 microsecond means 100 kilohertz frequency and on time is 500 nanosecond that means 0.5 microsecond and if you divide 0.5 divide by point, point 0.5 divide by 10 your duty cycle will become 5 percent okay so right now this i'm turning on this mosfet m1 with the frequency of 100 kilohertz and with the duty cycle of 5 percent all right now at the secondary side i have taken one more inductor that is called l3 it is also uh, uh, you see the dot, dot polarity for this L1 is downside and dot polarity for this L2 L3 is upside and this is connected to the the diode D5 again the rectifier diode and then again the output stabilizing capacitor and this is R1 R1 is for 5 volt 5 volt divided by 1 ampere you will get 5 ohm okay so this circuit basically works in an open loop configurations it doesn't works in a closed loop configuration that means i don't have the feedback circuit in the flyback converter in this design i'm trying to basically model a simple flyback converter and run the simulation and see the behavior of different different parts of design okay how this circuit works what is the input voltage what is the output voltage okay so let me explain another thing like l1 so the value for this inductor l1 is given by lp so you can see here the here i have i have uh, in the in the in the tab of inductance i have connected this lp you can write this here i am defining some variable here and i am giving the value for this lp variable by using this command dot param lp 8 8 10 micro handy that means your primary inductance is 8 10 micro handy and for the same this i have defined this to ls you can see here and uh, this is another variable and i am giving to value of value to this variable by using this dot param command dot param ls 100 micro handy that means your primary inductance is 810 micro handy and your secondary inductance is 100 micro handy and i have defined the the leakage inductance is 10 micro handy which is quite low at least you need to have the three percent leakage inductance value should be at least three percent of three percent of your primary inductance so guys i'm repeating again at least you should consider the leakage leakage inductance value to the three percent of your primary inductance value all right so now you know this again this l2 is leakage inductance i have given the value from here dot param leakage and 10 micro handy right right now at the second side i am using this mbrs 140 diode d5 and this this where capacitor c2 that is 220 micro handy and the resistance is 5 ohm to to draw the load value right now you have everything you have d1 d2 d3 and d4 the value for this rfnl 5e ge 6s and you have l1 l3 l2 now this this mosfet and mosfet driver okay now you have hope hope you have understood the design how i have created this schematic in l device okay okay if you have any further question at till now feel free to ask me in comment section okay make sure your dot polarity should be correct otherwise your flyback won't work if your current if you dot polarity at the mosfet side here you have to connect your dot at this side like both are in opposite direction one one uh, 80 degree phase shift okay okay so what happens in the flyback converter when this mosfet is turns on it is stores the energy in l1 in and primary winding of in transformer r l1 one more important things you need to remember here is coupling factor right right so i have i have 
coupled both l1 and l3 by using this command this is k k l1 l3 and 1 okay that k stand for coupling factor l1 l3 for the inductance l1 and l3 and 1 is the coupling factor you may give this coupling factor 2.9 or 0 0.99 0 0.98 but for now this simulation i have considered the ideal coupling factor there is there is there means there is no loss between primary and secondary winding so this coupling factor i have considered now is one all right all right so this if you don't consider this coupling factor your flyback topology is not going to work here so it's very important here to consider the coupling factor between two bindings or two inductors that is why i said here this is not a transformer this is basically a coupled inductor right this is basically a coupled inductor okay so now what i'm going to do is i'll run the simulation now and i'll show you the the different voltages different current at different location okay so let me run the simulation guys okay so let me first show you the input signal so your input signal how it looks like so you see here it's running very slow guys so this simulation is running very slow even if you want to see your input signal it's still it's very very slow you maybe let me show you the directly so since you know this is 230 volt it always remain 230 let me show you the voltage here right let me add to plot pane so this is the drain to source voltage at least you can see here right and let me show you the secondary side voltage here how this voltage looks like okay bingo now you see at simulation is running at some extent but is it is very slow it is very slow why this is slow because because of i have used maybe i have used this this very big high value of this capacitor c2 maybe because of that or some other factor in simulation at the moment i don't know but i'll try to find the way why the simulation is running very slow now let us know almost you have got what do you have got here almost you see your your signal is stabilized so let me show you the signals here right how the signals looks like right bingo okay so now guys you see here this is your drain to source voltage and the maximum voltage i see here is 379 around 379 it's very less and you see this is the secondary side and this is 238 even so let me zoom further now you see you see here guys how your switching is happening right right let me run the simulation again and let me show you the the this voltage first right this is drain to source voltage and this is the the secondary side voltage unregulated voltage okay the voltage at the secondary side which is coming in the green is unregulated voltage that means it is not rectified until now and this is drain to source voltage okay this is drain to source voltage all right and then i'll show you maybe in next tab one more thing let me add one more plot pane and let me show you probably the output voltage so all three simulations running together and right right so now you see here the let me show you the first drain to source voltage right drain to source so bingo you see this switching waveform guys you can see here this this type of switching is happening in in your in your drain to source voltage and if you want to see not output maybe this this voltage here you can see easily okay so this is basically your what is this this is your gate to source signal right this is your gate to source signal so this is called vgs 
as I already said the 5% of duty cycle that means you can see here the on time is only 5% and off time is higher okay and as you see in the on time on time the the inductor charges and current flows through the inductor so this is basically on time and during the off time you can see a high voltage appears across this MOSFET drain to source okay a high voltage appears across this MOSFET drain to source okay so when this MOSFET on you can see the energy stored in the primary binding okay when this MOSFET is when this pulse is high you can see the energy stored in the primary winding of the transformer at this point of time then you see very when this MOSFET is off you see very high voltage appears across this MOSFET and this is unregulated voltage which is appearing at the output output of secondary winding this is not regulated so let me zoom one signal so like that you can see how your pulse is getting reduced here how your switching is happening now let me show you let me show you maybe probably this is output voltage then uh, let me run the simulation again so that you see properly again the output voltage okay this is output current let me add one plot pane right and let me show you the output power so let me show you the output power right so this is very important right now you you, you are i'm going to show you the output voltage output current and output power so you see here this is the first is output voltage and you see this output voltage is still rising but at the moment it's 4.3 right 4.3 and this is the output current which is 0 0.85 and this is output power which is 3.6 watt right and that is basically you can increase the output voltage if you change here right 5 nanosecond to 550 that means in this time i am trying to increase the what i am trying to increase is i am trying to increase the duty cycle right this is output voltage this is output current and this is output power right So you can see here this output voltage is around it's rising 4.7 rise now you see it's 4.7 but simulation is running slow that is why it is 4.7 now current you can see is 0 0.936 milliampere current this is this is 944 and then your output is 4. Point. Now you see your output rows here this is your output right. 4.6 and this is the power 4.2 watt okay okay if you increase further increase the duty cycle maybe this could be 600 you will get more output right so let me show you the output voltage right output current right how this output voltage and output current both are following each other so you see only one this is rising rising 4.9 4.9 then it is getting stable now you see your output here at this point of time now you see the output is almost stabilized but 5.1 you can see here here guys this is 5.1 right 5.1 that means and your current is 1.0 amps now you see your 5.1 and the current is 1.0 and let me show you the power here now everything you have power is around how much you can see guys is 5.4 now your power is this red 4.69 your current is this is around 994 one amps 